Yo, what's going on North Texas Barbecue Addicts? It's cold outside, but that's not going to stop us from preparing for the Super Bowl. In today's episode, I'm teaming up with some of my buddies in the YouTube world. I've got Tina Cannon Cooks, Zach from Brisket Medic, and Red from Red's Barbecue and Pizzeria. All their information will be down below in the description box. We're all coming to y'all to show y'all some awesome ideas for some Super Bowl food on the grill. So in my video, we're going to be busting out some St. Louis style ribs that I got from Six Brothers Beef Company, some chicken wings, and some jalapeno cheddar sausage. We're throwing all that on the slow and sear kettle. It's going to be awesome. The cold weather is not stopping us at all. Y'all stick around and let's prep these ribs up and get to cooking. <laughs> Like I said in the intro, we've got some awesome things we're about to throw onto the slow and sear kettle. It all starts out with these top notch St. Louis style ribs from Six Brothers Beef. You can see the fat content rolling through the meat. These are going to be some extra tender ribs and that's what we're going to start out cooking because they will take the longest. Make sure you check out NTBA 10 to get you 10% off your total order from Six Brothers. And then we've got some jalapeno cheddar sausage and some chicken wings that we're going to toss on a little bit later as well. We're going to season the ribs and the wings up with some Right Rub from Right Barbecue Company. Their information will be right down below in the description box. Let's go ahead and get these ribs seasoned up so we can get them onto the kettle and get to cooking. So we got these ribs all out of package. As you can see again, the marbling is insane on these. We're going to go ahead and hit them with a nice coating of the Right Rub from Right Barbecue Company. This is going to put a beautiful color on our ribs and obviously flavor. That's looking good. We're gonna let that sweat in and obviously I'm gonna season up the edges here and a little bit on the bottom side. Next time I see y'all, we'll throw them on the slow and sear kettle. All right, so the slow and sear is at about 215 degrees so far and uh, that's on the indirect side. We're gonna get our ribs on. These are looking beautiful. You can see the seasoning sweat in nicely. Um, we've got applewood chips in the basket here. I'll check back with y'all in an hour and a half. So just a little update. It's 30 minutes into the cook. It is really cold out here where I'm at in Texas. And when I say really cold, it's about 35 degrees. Like I said, I'm from Texas. 35 is cold. Um, we're not really getting to a temperature above 225 right now. Typically, I'd cook at about 250 to 260. I've been adding some uh, applewood chips into the charcoal basket just to kind of crank it up a little bit. Um, just to counteract the cold weather, but we're cooking at about 225 degrees. So we're going to see exactly how long these ribs take because around about four, four and a half hours, my ribs are usually done. But again, that's at about 40 degrees higher. So y'all stick around and next time I see y'all, we'll check on these ribs. So we are at 250. Finally, um, at the hour and a half mark. It's been a while. Uh, we have not been at 250 the entire cook. Let's take a peek at these ribs and then shut this thing down quick because it's getting even colder. That's what we're looking like right now. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down and we'll check on this in about an hour. And then at that point, we'll add the chicken wings and the jalapeno cheddar sausage. All right, so we're a little over three hours into our rib cook here. It's time to throw some jalapeno cheddar sausage on to the slow and sear kettle as well. It is very windy, so I apologize if you're having any trouble hearing me. It smells awesome out here. These ribs are looking beautiful. Time to throw on our right rub wings here. So that's what we're looking like. We've got it loaded down. It's getting windy. It's raining. We're going to check on this in about 45 minutes, sauce these ribs up, and uh, see how everything else is looking. We'll check back with y'all here in a little bit. All 
All right, so we've got our ribs after they've rested. Um, usually it takes about four, four and a half hours to cook St. Louis style ribs on my kettle. This took about five and a half hours today. These are looking awesome still. I do want to hit them with a little topping of the right rub, um, all purpose seasoning, just a little bit more on top of this sauce that y'all saw. We put that peach chipotle sauce on there. Just a little bit more just to continue that original barbecue seasoning flavor. So that's what they're looking like before we slice them up. Let's go ahead and get these flipped over. They are extra flexible and tender filling. Man, it smells awesome. You can see it put an awesome color on these ribs, even on the back side. So let's go ahead and cut in here, see how we did. That's what the ribs are looking like real juicy now the uh, wings and the jalapeno cheddar sausage are done as well they're just kind of in the oven staying hot so let me go ahead and get all that on a plate and we'll give it a try All right, everybody, we've got our plate completely put together now. Got my buddy Billy here. He's gonna give all of it a try because we all know when there's a Super Bowl party, you're gonna have some buddies over and they're the ones ultimately that's gonna try all the good stuff that you, you threw on the kettle or the grill. So Billy, go ahead and give it a try. We've got ripe rub, peach chipotle sauce, uh, chicken wings mixed with a little bit of red hot. Uh, Frank's Red Hot Sauce, we got ribs, we got sausage, give it a shot. Look, well, sleeves, man, you get me in your Super Bowl party, you might not have any snacks left. <laughs> We're gonna start right here with the old chicken wing. Mmm. No, that's pretty good. That's pretty good stuff right there. It's like, uh, it's like right at the right mix between, uh, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of peppery. Would have liked a little bit more heat. I'm a, I'm a heat guy, but that's nah, pretty, pretty on point. Nice little uh, Super Bowl wing. Mm -hmm. Next, we got the good old rib, the Super Bowl rib. This must be Adam's rib. Mm, that's good. So the rib has a lot of flavor and most importantly, a lot of moisture. All right, we're gonna try out this sausage. I'm not 100% sure what kind of sausage this is. Jalapeno. Jalapeno sausage, that's where I'm gonna get my heat right there. That peño, let's give it a shot. And that's really good too. So one thing I love about sausage, I love a good peppery sausage. And that's a real good peppery sausage. All in all, all three, Eber and Rubber says two thumbs up. All right, everybody, that's a wrap. Billy approves of the chicken wings, the ribs, the sausage. Again, this is a collaboration with my buddies. All their links will be down below in the description box. Go check out what Super Bowl food they made up for y'all to try out as well. And until next time, peace. Y'all keep on barbecuing.